Hi guys, this is Colette. Welcome back to my channel. I am in the process of doing another makeup look and <clears throat> I wanted to use my Forever Flawless Constellation Palette, but I wanted to incorporate the Urban Decay Original Vice Palette. But I ran into a bit of a problem, and so I had to clean off what I started out. What I started out was I was going to do a bold blue, matte blue in the crease area and incorporate it with a purple from here. Well, things started to get muddy real quickly. <laughs> so I decided wipe it off because it really wasn't looking cute. And so I cleaned off all of that. And uh, now I'm in the mindset that I would like to depot this Urban Decay Vice palette because the one that I really like the most when I purchased the palette for this Vibrant Blue is Chaos. It is very dry. It is applying patchy and the vibrancy of the shade no longer exists. Even though it looks great in the pan, and I swatch it, it comes up nice and blue, but it does not apply nicely at all. And this is good compared to the translation I got using a brush a few moments ago. So because the palette still has some very good satin shades in here, I think I will go ahead and probably later today or tomorrow, whenever the devil kicks me in the behind, I think I'm ready to depot this and put, take the shades that I like the most, which would be the gold ones up here, this one, the green one over there, that one, and put them in a separate palette and get rid of the, this. So basically what I've done after I've cleaned off the blue and purple thing that was going on I am now applying Mars I just applied Mars from the constellation palette from makeup revolution revolution makeup whatever floats your boat so I just use an old Sony Kashuk brush and uh, did this I am not going to go crazy because I like matte shades in the crease but i'm noticing depending on the formula of the shadow and the texture of it on my eyelids sometimes it does translate a bit weird even though you moisturize and you prep and all of that so i am not going to be too fussy about too much color in here and i'm I th I'm thinking I'm getting too old for that nonsense anyway. Anyway, <laughs> that's not the point, is it? I don't mind playing with some color, but there are times when I take a step back and decide, hey, my mirror, I'm sorry, my mirror, my simple human mirror is in my way because I am trying to find something, a brush here that I can use. I'm going to use this little Morphe brush and I'm going to um, try to get another little brush here that I want. Ah, here she goes. And this one. I'm going to take this little guy and I'm going to go into what is called Universal in the palette. And I'm just going to get this back close to me. Just add a little dimension right here. I don't want to be too bold today, but what did I say? Go bold or go home? <laughs> anyway, I'm just gonna do this and then deepen it up. I'm not trying to put too many colors on here today and I think what I'm experiencing with this, with that um, palette is actually gonna enable me to make some decisions 
concerning some of the older palettes in my collection because even though I like having them and they're a set and, and all of that, if I cannot make good use out of them or they come out being too muddy and all of that jazz, what is the point of keeping them in my collection, really? I don't want to be a hoarder. I will only keep it if I'm using it. And that's my rule of thumb. I had not used that <clears throat> sorry vice palette in years there are other palettes that I consistently pull for and I would really like to stay with those I am really liking this Morphe M456 brush beautiful cleans up really nicely too so I'm gonna take another little brush right here this is just an angled BH164 brush and I'm gonna go into Celestial one right there tapping off the excess and I'm gonna just jam that right up there to accentuate and highlight the brow bone aspect right there under the brow bone and I'm getting it into my brow hairs we know it's not always perfect and peachy keen is it but it is what it is just gonna draw some light into that area and I think I am going to end up using the same shade in the inner corner of the eye just so the look is not too plummy and not too dark I am not going for that look today so I want to kind of hurry this up because I'm just doing it live with y'all <clears throat> sorry so it won't be um, edited I have been playing with some phone at um phone apps i was trying to find my camera i have a samsung camera the husband bought me years ago i was using it before i was in school and when i was in school and i would occasionally upload a video but for the life of me i don't know where my camera disappeared to because i do have a <clears throat> sorry a bigger camera that was gifted to me by a friend of mine in London. Hey, if you're watching. <laughs> and as much as I really like the camera, it's a pain in the behind to set it up and pull it down and set it up and pull it down. So I do have a, a big camera. I don't even remember what the name of it is. I have it in a drawer. But my problem with that is I need to like hook up other things and blah 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 and anybody got time for that because i in my bedroom here the way th my thing is set up ain't nobody got time for that all right i'm gonna take solar solar so my says solar but solar like in a solar eclipse y'all know how i do with these yellows and these goals but she looks like she need a little bit of help. Hello, Makeup Revolution. Before I go any further, let's just give her some help. I am taking the Ulta Beauty Glitter Glue. Got this on clearance the other day. Just putting a little bit on the back of my hand. I'm just going to tap it over here while I get it in my lashes. Hi. <laughs> But I really like applying a glitter glue, but I actually prefer makeup that you don't have to do all of that stuff to it to make it work. I really adore those kind of, um, I was looking for my little matte brush. Anyway, I'll go back in with this one. I like when I just apply it and it just applies and straight from the pan and it's like good to go yes however in makeup land we know that doesn't always work it's not always the case some things need a little bit of help but if you're not someone who like to see the vibrancy and you just want a little bit of color on your eyes that may work for you it would work for you because not all of us like our eyeshadow especially on the mobile lid to be bold and fierce me 
I like neutrals and I like uh, to play with color. For me, playing with color is fun. This is where I have my most fun. Sorry if you hear my dryer going off. But you see this? I love a vibrant gold or whatever neutral tone is on my lid. I like it to pop. So for me, I will always go in there and fix it and dull it up the way I like it. But for those of you, some of you a little more, you know, you like to be a little more low key with the eye color. But me, if I'm aware of gold or bronze or whatever, let it be gold and bronze all it wants. <sighs> Hello, can you see me from the outer space? <laughs> Love it. Just taking a little bit more of this glitter glue I do not want to waste it and I think I just did I just squeezed out way too much look at that mess anywho let's get it on me eyeballs and I'm this time I'm gonna use this little brush I got in a boxy charm and I don't know for the life of me I do not like to put my finger in my makeup much it's just not me maybe it is because I am tactile sensitive and I just don't like feeling certain textures and, and yeah, I'm just weird like that, but it just, it's just me. You can't fight me on that. You can't tell me I'm wrong either. It's just me, it's just who I am. And ain't nothing gonna change that. So, I just, don't like it I don't like the feel I think I make more of a mess on my eyelid and so I will go in with brushes I will find the brush that I need to do the job and I will get her done and I'm I just use this is a synthetic brush you guys from Morphe did you notice it's picking up the color very nicely I must say and it's not one for blending though but it is laying on the shadow perfectly it also when i dip it in the pan i notice i'm gonna show you the pan there is a little bit of fallout on my lid but i don't mind it but i'm gonna show you how it picks up the color do you see that all that it does stir up the shadow in the pan when you hit it with a brush and it actually now i got glue all over me okay alrighty then yeah, yeah, it's okay it's all right. we're good we're good to go we're jelly but it does a good job of picking up that thing for you that palette the colors in the palette mind you Whew, what a just gonna use one of my favorite little brushes this is from the my Ray Ray BH cosmetic brush sets if you're not used to watching me if this is the first time seeing my video i love a bh cosmetics brush hi this is celestial again and i'm just popping it in the inner corner of the eye as i said i was going to do and just look at that balance y'all balance and i'm just playing with my shadow like this there can you see that yes me likey and <clears throat> i know when i first started the video i mentioned that i was trying to incorporate the vice palette and this palette together because what happened i looked at the palette and i thought oh my god all i see is colors dark shades that can be transition shades no transition shades that i like for myself in person like on skin tone wise so I had pulled out my Mac um, on uninterrupted Boy, sometimes I lose the name anyway Mac uninterrupted is my favorite Mac transition color brought this years ago it's still good I'm still using it obviously you can see I've hit pan and it's just a beauty to work with I love it on me as um, a transition shade I'm gonna use the same brush I just cleaned it off and I'm just gonna go on the edge right here and I'm just kind of blending the two shades actually I'm gonna use a little bit of universal again 
just on the outer edge there just so we make it you see see what i'm doing there make it kind of seamless looking like i don't like tapping things on my mirror that mirror cost me 200 dollars, y'all <coughs> so hello yeah we're not gonna tap i'm not tapping any my brush on it i will tap it on something else so excuse my tapping sounds tapping it on something other than my mirror there are times that i'm tempted to do that but then i'm like hey don't do that colette don't do that i really like my mirror and i waited a long time do you see the difference y'all compared to this eye this one compared to that one all right so i'm gonna do the same process over here why do you guys like my makeup tutorials i think i suck <laughs> but you guys keep encouraging me to do them to fill my eyeshadow looks and i don't think i'm that good at it i don't know but if it makes y'all happy i know some of y'all ladies out here most of my viewers we're in the same age range and you guys um tell me you like when i do the looks and so i thank you for that you have confidence in me maybe i should have it myself sometimes i suck at that <laughs> you know what one of my teachers used to tell me when i was in school stop second guessing yourself she drilled that into me real good she said you know the answer you know what it is you know the information but you second guess yourself and she said your first answer your first thing is usually the right one so quit second guessing yourself and just give it <sighs> sorry yeah it took me a while let me turn up the light on this mirror it took me a while to grasp that but when it comes to makeup academically i don't do that anymore <clears throat> sorry but when it comes to makeup i still find that when it comes to tutorials and all of that i do second guess myself tremendously and i don't know why i do that hey it's a thing it's me gotta work on it don't we um gonna try this eyeliner i've never used it before it is from my boxy charm this month but i am gonna try it Cleaning off my waterline with a Q-tip. This, this, what is this supposed to be? What, waterproof? Is it going on? I don't know. It's swatched nicely on my ends, but it's not. I don't know. This is like a little bit too much work for me, yo. It's barely showing up. It's like a light brown in my, in my waterline. Hold up, let's do this now. Uh. Mm -mm. Okay, this is a no. <laughs> I'm gonna, however, use it underneath the eye. It works better for me underneath the eye. And then I'm gonna set it with a shadow see that now it shows on my waterline we're not going to have this this is not going to work for me on my waterline we're t no mm -mm. this is not going to work baby but under there i can work with you for underneath my eye not on my waterline this brush that i used to lay down the color on my lid again it is a morphe 124 I'm going to go in with Harp. Hey! And I'm going to run Harp on top of this liner that I just put down before it dries. See what we did there? Tell me you like that. I'm just going to do that. And guys, if you notice, I have, in my last few tutorials, I have been using my shadow shields. I bought these years ago, and I do have some from Eyes, Lips, Face that I purchased recently. I went to a Target somewhere, 
and they had them for like two bucks and I picked them up. But I decided to use my shadow shields because yes, I've had them for so long. Ma, could you please turn off the dryer? I have to call the teenager for everything. Anyway, that's it. That's it for the eye look. I look complete. The last thing to do is just to put on my top eyeliner and mascara, clean up, and we're done. So I'm not going to stay with you guys for that. I'm going to go off camera, finish up my face, and that's it. But I did want to share with you the tutorial using the Revolution Constellation Palette. So as you see, it's the palette that I use for this look, and I hope you like it, and I hope you find ways to, to use yours, and I hope I've inspired you to pull it out if you do have it, or something similar. And if you don't have it, you don't need to go out and buy it. You can just dupe it, because I think all these colors on my eyes are dupable. We all have palettes that um, contain dang near all of these shadows okay these colors so if you find it as something that you like or the combination go ahead and play with that but i'm gonna i'm not taking this off as yet i'm gonna do my liner with it on and then i'm gonna um call it a day so take care you guys thank you for watching be kind to each other and enough love until the next video <laughs> I can't talk today until the next video enough love and if you have ideas about how to do how to depot this bad boy because i have um empty magnetic palettes and magnets already in my situation that i have here i just need how do you depot this bad boy because i've seen some videos but i don't want to i don't want to be caught on fire i don't want to go that route let me know how y'all get these out of here. And I don't want to mess up the pans either. So on that note, enough love. And I'll talk to y'all soon. Bye-bye.